Well, here at College of DuPage, we were really proud to celebrate and bring awareness to Juneteenth, which is the date in June 19 of 1865 when slaves in Galveston, Texas were actually set free. This was two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation that came down from Abraham Lincoln. Well, today we have an opportunity for those to come out and participate in what we call a photo exhibit, a display of photographs taken uh, that surrounds the history of Juneteenth. They can read the captions or they can, by the QR code, download the audio or video from those particular images, and then they can share in that experience. And then we also have a luncheon that's a part of that. We've given away a lot of Juneteenth Freedom Day t-shirts. And then we had very special guest singers, the D.L. Perkins singers, who led us in the facet of music that was germane to that time, like the 1800s and the 1900s, very much so prevalent today in gospel music. Most of the music that we're used to singing is church music. But this event today, we kind of had a good little mix. Uh, it's a wide variety of music that ranged from all sorts, um, across the timeline from maybe the early 80s to like present day music that you hear now. You know, music is, is literally just about blending voices, about blending sounds, about creating harmony. And that's literally what we have on display as harmony for everybody. We've always celebrated Juneteenth growing up. We've always, summertime for, for us African Americans, it's our like party time. So, you know, most Americans, and we are American, don't get me wrong, but we're also Africans. We're American of African descent. So looking at the Juneteenth flag, looking at everything that it represents, it's a reminder that we did descend from African slaves and we got to celebrate it, you know? This is a significant uh, holiday here in the United States now. I think it's important because we need to recognize recognize the history of what happened, but we also need to celebrate the achievements of our black and African American community. And that's why we're doing this today. And if you look in the other room, it's just filled with people and celebration and good times. So we're very happy to host this event here at College of DuPage. Yeah.